Oh, hi, this is John Park for Adafruit Industries, and I've got a very cool project this week. This is the Circuit Playground Password Vault. What does it do? Well, here's the problem I'm trying to solve. If you have an insecure password, like let's say pencil, that password could be cracked pretty quickly by a dictionary attack. So if you instead use a very secure password like that for example, that's gonna be much more secure, but it's also a bit difficult to remember and it can be even more tricky to type in. So what the password vault does is store up to 10 of your passwords and then allow you at a press of a button to enter them onto a computer. So let's talk about how I built the password vault. You'll see all of the details in the learning system guide. Here are the parts that we need. Circuit playground, a USB cable, optionally some copper tape, and 3D printed parts to make the case. Now you don't have to use a 3D printed case. You can also imagine finding other things like a tennis ball can or a sawed in half wiffle ball, anything you find around the garage, in a junk drawer, or maybe go to the hardware store and find something that you can hide it in. That might also be a pretty sneaky way to store your password vault. Now what I did was printed out these parts so that I could lay in AAA battery pack and the on off switch is visible through the bottom. And then I also built a little box that I could rest the battery box inside of and snap it securely in place. And I'm actually printing on my 3D printer right now a second case for the middle part, but I have some spares from when I was prototyping. Here's one in blue. So this fits on top of here. Then the circuit playground sets into place on top of the middle section, like this. Once we get all the parts put together, we're gonna use some screws and some hex nuts that'll be captive in the bottom. And ultimately this top piece is gonna set on top to keep it all secure. One of the cool parts about this is making the capacitive touch pads accessible on the top side of the case by using copper tape. This actually has a conductive adhesive on one side so you can peel it off, stick it, and then wrap it around the case so that you'll be able to access those four pads later. Here's how we keep it secure. When I turn on the password vault and flip the switch, it's ready for me to key in my own code sequence. I can press these copper pads to key in this sequence. Success, I typed it in properly and now I can press the button on the right to select one of up to 10 different prepared stored passwords and when I press the left button, it'll type that password over USB into a computer. One of the cool things about the Circuit Playground is it can act like a keyboard or a mouse. If you plug it into a computer, uh, there are no drivers required. It'll just emulate one of those devices. So let's see it in action. I'm gonna select the first password on here and plug in a USB cable into this laptop. Okay, now when I click into the password field here and press the left button for that first slot, it just typed in my password for me, which is this weird spelling of raspberry. It's pretty secure. Hit enter and I'm logged in. So that is the Circuit Playground Password Vault. Go and build one so you can be secure.